Brett, hello, hello, how are you doing? Anyway, if you've never played off, it's a really weird game. Um, I made a Let's Play, you should watch it. Listen to the soundtrack. Especially Pepper Steak. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's Animal Crossing night. Tell me if the game is too quiet. My, uh, my thingy here isn't really helping with... Off is kind of off. Zeno, how are you doing? I'm doing okay. Uh... Anything interesting? Yeah, so this... Oh, well, I mean, I've been doing okay... Um... Productively. Uh, last week I recorded, I was supposed to say filmed, I recorded 11 episodes of a Let's Play in one day, and then a few more in another day, and I did all of my Patreon commissions pretty much in less than half a month, so yay! Game sounds good. For Minish, yeah, I recorded 11 episodes of Minish Cap in a row. <laughs> I really like that game. Um, yeah, I'm very excited for that. Uh, and I might actually record more this week. I'm not sure. I, I'm like I'm I'm a week and a half ahead right now. But anyway, uh, hope you're all doing well. Dang of dang, yeah. It's it's just very productive. I've been doing like a lot of drawing, a lot of drawing, um, and it's it's mostly not garbage. Um, so yeah, it's it's been it's been good on that front. Um, I think my mental health has been okay too, but uh, we're playing Animal Crossing, so it's going to be a good time. It's always a chill time, and chill is good. I like I like streaming on Tuesdays specifically because the week hasn't worn you down yet, but you're past Monday, so like you still need a tiny bit of a break. Wednesday already, I think, is too. It's too late. It's too late if you're having a bad week. Wednesday is too late, but Tuesday is good enough for chill times to save you. But anyway. Um, so tonight's stream, uh-oh, residents complain that they've purchased fake pieces of art, that's terrible. Uh, tonight's stream is gonna kind of be split between the Happy Home Paradise and the usual island visits. Where'd you find the download for off? Uh, a friend of mine, uh, gave it to me. Um, she's actually the one that recommended it to me, so she sent me the, the, the link. Uh, if you... If you DM me somewhere, uh, I'll I can send it to you if you'd like. Uh, so yeah, so we're gonna be splitting time between um, uh, Happy Home Paradise and Island visits because I've been doing a lot of the Happy Home stuff and uh, I keep on unlocking more things. So I, I just want to kind of play it. <laughs> I'm sure you'll all forgive me. Also, they're they're giving out um, stuff for the Super Bowl, even though that's in a month. So if you want to order stuff, if you want to order from from the Nook Shopping, they have, and I quote, uh, the football rug for big game celebration and football cheer megaphone for big game celebration. Uh, so yeah. Uh, I th think... I think this Valiant statue is real, but my brother wanted it, so I'm gonna send it to him. Um... Or maybe I'll just give him this fake one, actually. I have no idea why this one's fake. Okay, whatever. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna head to the happy home. Happy home place. Hello, Aw oh, Stitches is wearing my Kyoko coat. Uh, what what kind of what kind of catchphrase? For some reason, the first DM that came to mind was YouTube comments. Uh, that's that wouldn't work. What are we? What should we have Stitches say? Big game TM. I usually have him say yawn because he's he's a lazy villager, but. I'm never good at, at the at, at thinking of the catchphrases for them. Then again, they're not good at thinking of nicknames for me, so it's mutual. Pepper steak. I 
think pepper steak would fit, but I don't I don't know if, if stitches would understand. I could just have him say that. Definitely didn't binge watch the off Let's Play like two days ago. Yeah, it's short enough that you can binge it. Uh, okay, I don't know if I want Stitches to say this. This is this is like the decision paralysis. You know like when you're trying to name a Pokemon that you just call it and it's it's important or it's a legendary or something and you spend more time trying to name it than you did trying to catch it. Sorry if I'm going off about of off. No worries. That's me. I'm the one I'm 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 the one that that spends like 40 minutes trying to think of a name and then I just put the game in sleep mode and play something else. I can't think of any good memes right now that would Who is this villager had to take uh uh this is uh, stitches. Stitches the, the the little lazy bear. Prepare prayer for awful puns. Oof. Oof. Y'all hear y'all hear about uh about Microsoft buying Activision Blizzard? You probably have if you've been on the internet. That kinda came out of left field, huh? No, I'm just giving you. I'm gonna go for my my old standard. You know, I'm gonna go for my old standard um, of giving them, <laughs> giving them dang and rampa things. I had um, Astrid on my island. Hey, hey, that's nice. I had Astrid on my island, and I essentially just turned her into uh, Ibuki Miyota. She was just yelling out, good, nom nom nomming. Like, roar with yarn. Oh, I like that. Yarn. One sec, one sec. So, don't walk away. Don't walk away. What's up? Uh. Hey, hey. There we go. There we go. Hey, hey. Don't wind me. I was just thinking the other day. This is me thinking out loud. This, this, I don't know. I'm just going to ramble for a bit. So, you know when you play a game and you're like, wow, this is the best game ever. I love it. Except you can't say that because it's a new game and everyone's just going to jump on you and be like, oh, you're just trying. You're just getting on the new game bandwagon. You're going to hate it in a few years. You're not allowed to call it your favorite game ever. Anyway, people probably don't actually do that. If it's a hypothetical in your head and you're gonna... So you feel weird and you don't say that Persona 5 is one of the best video games ever created. But anyway, so a few years go by and you feel like you're finally able to tell people it wasn't a fad. <laughs> it wasn't a phase, mom. So, um... I think officially... I have officially gone mad with power from these pun opportunities. It's good. I like it. I, li I love the puns. Um, so... With games like Danganronpa, I think, especially with V3 turning 5 this year, which is crazy, and the fact that I've put in like 40 hours into the Ultimate Summer Camp already. Oh right, he's giving me more things. I'm helping out, I'm out with stuff. Persona 5 is bad, though. Persona 5 Royal, on the other hand... I never beat the original Persona 5. I got really, really far into it, but I did 100% uh, Platinum Trophy Royal, so I kind of agree with you. 
all of the changes they made made it go from like a 9 to a 10. <laughs> but yeah, we got brick pillars now. Uh, but anyway, so like, you know, there's a, enough enough years go by and you're finally able to say it wasn't a fad and you're allowed to say that a game is actually one of your favorite games of all time and people can't look at you funny because it's been long enough. I got a, interesting people today. Um, but yeah, so anyway, what I'm trying to say is uh, Danganronpa is like one of my, one of the best games I've ever played. And I can say that for certainty because it has been almost, well, yeah, it's been almost a decade since I played it. I want to say, oh my gosh, look at them. Look at them. Here. Look at them. Uh, so yeah, Dan Danganronpa, I meant to actually take a picture also. Uh, Danganronpa is just like one of one of the best games I've ever played, and I'm allowed to say that, and I love it. And the same with Persona 5. It's It came out in 2016? 2017? I think it was 2016, wasn't it? Something like that? I don't know, whichever it was. It's been also like five years. So, yeah, I can confidently say, oh no, Rodney is on a raft. I can confidently say that Persona 5 is one of my favorite games of all time and people can't think that it's just a phase. Ew, I don't want to look at you. I made a house for him because it was going to be trash. Hello, Mo. But yeah, this is, there's no, there was no um, start to this conversation. It's just things I've been thinking about, like the fact that I still talk about Persona and Danganronpa and I don't know if it annoys people or not, but I really don't care at this point because like, they have sticking power in my mind. It's the same with Final Fantasy VII. It's the same with Katamari Damacy. Like, those games are, are objectively some of my favorite games. I'm a professional at making puns. I finished five and then Royal dropped the next month and I rolled right into it. V3 is legit in my top ten games. Yeah, it's so good. I'm one of those people that liked V3. Like, not to talk about the game's spoilers, but, you know, just to say that the game had a divisive segment to it. Um, but I, I really liked it. It took me a little while to think about it, but I really liked it. Oh, this is beautiful. Creepy skeleton, yes, please. Um, and, uh, yeah, like... Also, like, I, I think the characters are, are the strongest in the series. I think that, like, one has a lot of good characters. Two has the most, like, good characters versus bad characters. And V3, I think, has the strongest characters. So, like, I don't know. I would say one is the worst Danganronpa game, maybe? And then there's Ultra Despair Girls, which I did play, but I don't think I can really safely um rate it uh with the rest of them but i liked it a lot but yeah sorry we're just talking about danganronpa instead of <laughs> instead of this um but yeah i just uh i think about danganronpa a lot and i draw it a lot and i think it's perfectly fine to love a game is what i'm trying to say so if you have a game that you love even if it's new you're, that's cool. You're allowed to. A hundred percent love that game. I also got the chance to take a fisheye lens photo of Marlo. That's awesome. V3 is everything I wanted for dang in front to back. It feels tragic every death is sad. Exactly. I literally have pepper steak link on my clipboard at all times to paste. Yeah, the same with, with uh, Persona 5. Uh, I, I love Persona 4. I never finished it, though. I, I have Persona 4 and Golden. Or no, I just have Golden. I don't have the original on PlayStation 2. Um, but, like, I loved that game a lot, but I couldn't finish it. Um, but Persona 5 Royal and then Strikers are just absolutely beautiful video games. Like, 100% some of the best jrpgs ever made and the same with arise arise was my game of the year last year tales of arise um i i also think it's one of the best video games i've played but i feel like i feel weird saying that because it is within like i was discussing it's within the too early phase like will i drop this game in a year and forget about it i don't know 
but for right now I love it and that's fine <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna work on facilities let's make a restaurant today we're let's play this game instead of just talking about dang and Ramba Strikers and Golden are on my to playlist. Strikers is so good. Strikers is great because it is a it's a, a Warriors game. Like if if you don't like Warriors games, you might not like it. But it feels like it's Persona 5. It doesn't feel like they just took a skin and and slapped it on a Warriors game. It feels like Persona 5 with a Warriors system. Which like that's what made it work. It's an, it's although it ignores all the story elements that are specific to royal and i have opinions about that but aside from that i love it also decide to try to make the batter cosplay in dark souls Ooh, nice turns out hitting things with medieval equivalent of a baseball bat is not super effective oh that's too bad can you imagine a cute restaurant in this spot it's a great location for foot traffic okay we should design the exterior I actually, I actually, uh, I, I showed it on Twitter, but I, I, um, I made a cafe on the Happy Home here, and I, I modeled the interior after Cafe LeBlanc. I'll show it afterwards. Uh, I don't have any specific plans for the restaurant here, so I'm just gonna make it look nice. Let's get to the door. Oh, all right. So the awning you can actually put custom designs on. So I could put Chilled's face on it. I don't have a lot of like regular custom patterns, which is sad. I could just make Chihiro. <laughs> no, we already did that once. Uh, we already did that once with something. I could put Elima there, or we could just say that Annalisa is not welcome, which I will not do. I'm going to sleep and not listen to Pepper Steak for hours while doing so. <laughs> Thank you very much for stopping by. Listen, it's a good song. Just put it on repeat. I was I actually did that once when I was uh, drawing something. I had the whole off soundtrack on loop. Um, like sometimes when I'm drawing and I just don't want to do anything else uh, to focus, I just put on some music and blast it. So that day it was the entire off soundtrack. The shade. All right, now we got to work on the interior. Okay, there's a dining hall and a kitchen. So when my brother was doing this, we decided to make the uh, the exterior here, the kitchen, and the interior, the dining room. It was very strange. But anyway, let's design a restaurant. I yeah, I don't really have have any any uh, specific. Uh, design ideas in mind. You can now use any DIY items you've crafted at least once. Hooray! And also we can make pillars. Yeah, so now we have a lot of a lot of things. Oh boy, we're gonna have a lot of things to choose from. So we're just gonna put whole loads of skeletons in here to show that this is indeed a clean location. Maybe some trash bags. I oh, could put some sculptures actually. The first thing we're gonna do is is change the size of this place. Okay, that's a little better. Uh, let's now let's let's make it let's make it some nice some nice mood lighting maybe some dusk. Uh, okay. Do, 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 do. Let's see what kind of new wallpapers we got. Multi panel wall, mm, red brick wall, mm, no. Retro restaurant wall, that's neat. Nope, no, no, no. That's disgusting. Oh, good bunny day wall. Eh, even better mush wall. Okay, we've got the diner wall, which I also don't want. The screen wall is neat, but... Uh... Blackboard 
wall. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, we're not gonna do. <laughs> oh man, I can use the garbage heap wall for uh, for Patty's house. Oh, iceberg wall. That's interesting. Yeah, these are all the DIYs that I have. Ski slope wall. I've never seen that before in my life. Bottom wall. Uh, underwater arched window. Okay, I'm, I think I'm gonna go with this and make. Oh, the uh, the train window wall is really cool. Also, I love the uh, the the moving thing. It's not going to work with people walking into a diner that is a stationary experience, but um, you know you know how it is. I want to make an accent wall on this. Is that... How many accent walls can I make? Is that only one? Yeah, only one. Okay. So we're going to make an accent wall over there uh, for flooring, um, terracotta, green retro, golden flooring. Get something, something nice and neutral. I don't want to do that. I think that's that's too it's too uh, <laughs> trashy looking. Restaurant kitchen flooring I don't think is what we want here. I think the tatami flooring is a little too much. Uh, no, nah, I think that's too plain. The parquet flooring definitely is too much. Do I want something dark or something light? I think I might want something light. Mm, maybe? Yeah, the birch flooring is also too plain. Uh, Taco Bell 80s look. <laughs> Man, I wish. Wish we could do that. Oh, you know what was making me think about the Danganronpa stuff? I'm gonna talk while I'm designing here so you don't have to just hear me say, should I put this or this or this? So, um, if you are on Twitter, you probably know of a little game called Wordle that's taking the internet by storm. It's really fun. Um, it's like the game Mastermind, except with five-letter words. Uh, and it's just, it's just a, neat, a neat concept and a neat idea. And um, I have a lot of fun with it. Originally, I didn't want to like post it on Twitter at all. Uh, that I was playing because people tend to like see people playing the you know the new cool thing and then say oh this is so stupid and then just ruin everyone's enjoyment of it like if you don't like a thing don't say anything um, so yeah I, that's why I like for some games I just don't say that I like it because <laughs> I don't want people to ruin it for me um, so Wordle was that for me but then I just decided like I shouldn't let the people decide how much fun I should be having with something and I'm just going to join in with everyone else um, you know who are making uh, who are like posting and uh, just yeah have fun with it so it is fun and I am posting but um, you know, it's the same it's a similar thing of like people because it's a new thing people are going to jump on you for saying that you enjoy it or they're going to be like, oh, it's everywhere, I don't want to hear it, but, like, who cares? Let people enjoy things and also enjoy things. It's important. It's very important to enjoy the things around you. And sometimes, I want to see if I have a fireplace. Sometimes, uh, like, you feel like you, you shouldn't enjoy the things around you. Because a, it might make the people, it might make people like say something. So you're like, oh, I don't want to invite criticism into this thing I like, or you think that you aren't allowed to have fun with something, which is 
uh, just something that a, a problem that I I know personally I have dealt with of just saying like oh you know why should I be able to enjoy X Y and Z and then give a stupid excuse why I shouldn't but um, yeah you're allowed to enjoy things so enjoy them and also if you enjoy a thing it's totally 100% awesome to say something about it to say hey I enjoy this thing unless it's like illegal or horribly unethical in which maybe in that case <laughs> you should keep your opinion to yourself but aside from that we at Sephiroth told before enterprises do not condone uh, illegal illegal things generally um, but yeah if it's if it's legal and it's not hurting anybody please enjoy the thing heck them nerds is uh, is a good way to to sum that up look we can have different types of trash I wish I wish the trash bags of all things I wish the trash bags you could put a um, uh, a decal on because I would a hundred percent have put Nagito Komeda's face on every single one of them. Uh, I really don't have. Oh, that's that's probably under miscellaneous. I want to put plants up here. You know what I really want to put out here? A, a fountain. Every good restaurant needs a fountain. The problem is I have so many things now, so it's. It's just gonna take me a long time to look through every single, every single one. There we go. There's my fountain. Every good restaurant has a fountain right in the center. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Let's move this supporting pillar over here. Who knows? We might even have room for a table or two by the end of this. Uh, let's. I know what else to do. We're gonna put in a ton of little floor lights. Uh, let's see. This also this while I'm while I'm on my little soapbox here. This also ties in with art uh, and drawing things that you like. Uh, because I actually stopped drawing Danganronpa stuff for a little while because I thought people were just going to get really upset at me that I was drawing a lot of Danganronpa things. <laughs> because I really like the game and I really like the characters. I want to draw them because I like drawing. So like it, it just ties into that because just draw the stupid things that you like. Doesn't matter what people think about it. I was I said this on my art Twitter also. Just like post post that post things post things they might be good they might be bad just post your art make your art and then post your art it doesn't have to just be drawings it can be like anything else um but yeah who cares who cares if it's quote unquote overdone i don't just enjoy the things enjoy the things Make things that you enjoy and enjoy the things. Because if you don't if you don't do things that you enjoy, then you're gonna be miserable. So like, you may as well just create the things, create the things that you enjoy. I didn't mean to do that. There we go. No wait. Oh whatever, it doesn't matter. Me as I constantly share KD art to my friends. See, I love I love when people share art that they like. Like I I actually love it because you get to see something that someone cares about and they feel comfortable enough sharing the thing that they care about with you, and that's cool. Like I don't share all the interests of my friends, not in the slightest. But do I do I love it when they show me the things that they like a hundred percent? Because it's something that they like, and that makes me happy. It just makes me happy. Ooh, ooh, you got different undercloth. Oh, that's that's cool. I didn't know you could do this. 
Oh, look how fancy this is. Oh yeah, I can make a custom design on the undercloth. Yes. I can just go all in on the Noah and Elisa theme or just make it entirely be said. Oh, that's so neat. That's so neat. Okay, let's let's have a really fancy, classy table. There we go. But yeah. So so this whole this whole soapbox is essentially to say enjoy the things that you like. Please, please first off enjoy the things that you like. Second, share the things that you like. Your friends want to see the things that you like. And uh, and third, um, like the things that your friends share, I guess. You don't have to like their, their interests, but just like share in the things, share in the experiences that your friends want to, uh, to share with you, you know? It's cool, it just makes everything more fun. Everyone gets excited because when someone shares something, they're like, oh cool, what are we at now? Unless you're like me and you just share cursed um, Nagito Komeda pictures with Lukajin. <laughs> That's a discussion for another time of getting to know Dovi and having him share Nagito Komeda pictures with you. That's just a, a that's a that's a, a occupational hazard. I was like, do I do I have to have those specific chairs she put out? That's a crime, or it should be. Okay, I don't need those chairs and tables out here, so let's let's get rid of these specifically. Get some. That's too far away. Get some over there. Put this over here. Uh, what shall our patrons be eating today? Uh, they are going to be having, oh, they're going to be having nigiri sushi. Super premium. Super premium. All of them are going to be having it. One second. You and you. And this last one is weird and they ordered a diced salad sandwich set. Don't know why. They don't even sell that at this restaurant, but there you go. Um, now, can I... Oh, there's, there's the... Uh, da, 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 let's put that there. Can, can I copy this whole thing, please? No, I can't. Okay, fine. Let's just put this over here. We'll make another set of tables here. No, I don't want to do that. Okay, I'm gonna move move your thing for just one second. There we go. Guma, hello, hello. How are you doing tonight? I have no idea what Nigirizushi is, but it sounds it sounds super premium. Okay, now the people on the people on this table are gonna be eating. Oh, they're having an extravagant meal. Look at that. They're actually just sharing it between between each other here. Um, nobody's having drinks, which is weird, but you know it is what it is. Uh, what should I put as decoration up over here, though? Uh, let's see, let's see, we could put a menorah, I'm sorry, celebratory candle. Oh, you know what, we're gonna do the MAGFest thing and just put an LCD TV playing Advent Children. That's it. Now we're gonna have a phonograph. Look at this phonograph! You know, phonograph is old and fancy, like me, except I'm not fancy. Uh, I guess... I guess I'll put a cash, cash register so that they can be cashed outside. <laughs> Just put fish containers all over the place. 
I'm telling you, I could just ruin this place by by sticking garbage bags. Uh. All right, right. I got to get the walls. Oh, you know the golden decorative plate kind of seems like a nice touch, a nice accent over here. Let's put a second one right there. And in the middle. In the middle, we're gonna put a frozen mini snow person as like a little snow sculpture. You know they have like ice sculptures and stuff. So weird. How do you get green ice? I don't want to know. Don't tell me. Um, okay, so above the the counter space here, we're obviously going to have the Hall of Fame, which is uh, their most valued patrons. Um, you know, like how you have restaurants and stuff that have like their uh, famous famous people that came by but anyway we're, we got we got uh, we got Sherb and Willow there got Lobo got Mo got Pico uh, Poncho Rold is gonna be right in the center because he is special Sasha Zucker, Azalea, I guess we have room for one more. Uh, not Patty, I guess we could put Sprocket there. And move all this over, just one space, there we go. Just slowly put murderous things everywhere, gas can here, sword there, I mean I could. <laughs> I could. I really shouldn't, but I could. Um, oh, yeah, there we go. That's classy right there, right there. Uh, we don't need security cameras. I think this place is fine. Uh, hanging scroll, what do we have for designs? Calligraphy, mountains, fish, and bird, and flower. Uh, let's get the, let's get a bunch of the flower ones. I'm gonna put this actually on this wall in between the uh, slats there there we go and don't want to put anything on this wall no we'll get to that uh, let's go to the ceiling decor. So first things first, we do need a ceiling fan. Wooden is nice. I don't think we need a disco ball. Disco ball is just hanging by a thread. Uh... Put this over here as like a little divider for the people here. Get like a tiny little bit of privacy, you know? I don't like how this is not particularly centered, but I, you know, let's see. Let's see if we can move the whole thing over just a little bit. Now, see, it is, it is kind of centered. It's not centered because I couldn't make the room that way, but as you can see, like it's, it's on like one, two, three here, and one, two, three on this side, and then from the the sides of the the room itself, it's it's you know a square and a half away. So it's centered to the open space here. It's just not centered to the room because the room itself is weird. I'm gonna count it. It's fine. Um. Let's let's get some wood shaded lamps here above each table. That's not centered. I think that looks good. Okay, that's pretty fancy actually. We don't have like <clears throat> a lot of seating area, but you know, it's it's an exclusive appointment only rest type of restaurant, you know.
I love that pendant light. I would kill for one. Um, you know, it's cool. Yeah, <laughs> it is very cool. Where are the Moroccan lights? Oh, that's neat. It's not for the restaurant here, but that's neat. That's neat. Um, don't want anything else here. No, no, we're we're keeping it. We're keeping it classy. Uh, yeah, there's really only one other thing we need to put here, and that's obviously the most obvious thing. Uh, da, 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 where is? No, so I think it's down at the bottom of this one. Forgot to take my melatonin. I'm incapable of sleep. Oh no! I'm sorry. We can have the suggestive looking rock. We could put a, a western style stone. No, 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 no. I wish I could just put this sword right in the middle of the fountain. That would be so cool, but alas. I can't put that anywhere. We're gonna put the sword right next to the, uh, the, the entrance here. This is to prevent people from, uh, from going back into the, uh, <clears throat> into the, 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 the kitchen without giving notice. But yeah, I think this is neat. There's going to be no way to talk to people that are in those uh, far chairs, but I think it's nice. I think it's nice. I think it's got ambiance. And you got rolled over here. Uh, for music... My sleep schedule is gonna be way off. Boo! Boo! <laughs> hmm. I like that KK Adventure looks like a Star Fox poster. Go for chill wave for now. Okay. Kitchen time. Why are you booing me? I'm right. Oh, this is a tiny kitchen. <laughs> so my brother and I uh, used to watch a lot of Kitchen Nightmares, you know, the Gordon Ramsay show. Um, And uh, there's this one episode where these people had uh, the chef, quote unquote chef of the restaurant named Chef Mike, who was just a microwave. At the end of the episode, uh, Gordon chucked the microwave out a window. It was great. So uh, when my brother made this, he thought of just putting like 10 microwaves, <laughs> making like a super fancy outside to the, uh, to the kitchen. Uh, to the to the restaurant and then making the kitchen just microwaves nothing nothing good just <laughs> lousy um so i'm not going to be doing that as much as i want to but uh let's make okay that checkout counter isn't really necessary here uh let's let's give let's give some kitchen amenities Let's get a counter, let's get a dishwasher, let's get a gas range, let's get a refrigerator. Freezer is good too. Oh, I wanted to put this in the other room, one second. That's what I wanted. I wanted a fireplace, but a wood-burning stove is nice for ambiance as well. I love, I love um, restaurants that have like a fireplace. There's this, uh, I, I never actually went in it, but there's, there's this is really nice restaurant by Magfest area that has like a huge fire I don't know if it's like a fireplace or just like a fire pit or something it was at the first there was definitely a fire pit outside which was cool I always like places like that 
Shall I ever be concerned? Both. Why not both? Uh, so let's let's put the dishwashing area over here. Uh, you can go there. Uh, the fridge can be by the dishwashing area. We do not need that. Is that the okay? That's the front. Counter space could be over there. Okay, get over here. What? Get against the wall, thank you. Gosh. Buddy. Okay, I don't like that there has to be little gaps in between everything here. I know that's probably a safety hazard to put them right next to each other, but it's ruining the vibe. It's ruining the vibe. You know what? Let's give them. Hmm. I oh, probably need a trash can. Let's put the trash can over here because you should not keep your garbage with by the food. That's not sanitary. Oh, they, oh yeah, they definitely have a smoker. And not just Fernando, who's not supposed to do that in the building. Uh, I don't don't want a salad bar. Get some cooking tools and avoid the microwave. Uh, they do not have a deep fryer, and no one knows how those fries got onto the plate out there. But we do. We are going to get an imperial pot. Okay, let's put that over there. What can we put on here? Let's put a frying pan on there. Yeah. Vibes are better than safety. <laughs> yeah. A hundred percent. That's that's how we should approach this situation. Mm, as much as I want the teacup. And let's put a paper tiger there. It's it's representative of the lucky cat that they have going around that should not be in because of the health code violations, but they hide it every time the health inspector comes in. Uh, what should I do for wallpaper? They should have a nice a nice cooking environment, like on an airplane, or in an office, or <laughs> in ringside seating, or a sci-fi wall. Probably not. Who says that a that a, the walls of a of a restaurant kitchen have to be sterile and ugly? I don't. We're not putting mushrooms there though. Party wall? No. See, that's just too yucky. No, no. Robo wall is nice. Uh. Hmm. Okay. Actually, the vine pattern? No, no, that doesn't work. Me? No, 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 no. That's weird. That's weird. Or me? Oh, is it? No, no, no. It's weird. It's weird. Stone? No, no, no. Give that cut roast the chair. Suddenly torn between optional OT or streaming tonight. Who the choices? I should do both at the same time. Just stream the OT. I don't know why I have troll face, but sure, I guess. I'm sure nothing bad will happen to you if you do that. Tell them, tell them I said it's okay. Well, man, I could be frowned upon. No, 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 tell them I said it's okay. Tell them I, tell them Dovey specifically said it's okay. And if they ask who the heck is Dovey, then I don't know what to tell you. That they're horribly uninformed people. Hmm. 
You know what? We're going to give them the exquisite wall. I think this is a nice cooking environment. Now let's make some uh, hazards. Let me tell my manager. Let's make some good hazards on the floor, like an oil lamp. You shouldn't just leave that there. Uh, where were you plants and I was looking for you before? Somebody brought his kid to work, his homework is all over the place. Steven's in the middle of writing his novel instead of working on the souffle he was supposed to make. There are in fact several cats, more than they thought that they had. They are all health code violations and each one is not somewhere where it's supposed to be. I wish I could put it on top of the fridge. Also for some reason Rold is just walking around. We're going to pretend Rold is over here. Just walking around and doing things. Uh, let's see, what else, what else? Unattended fire. And... 13 Monokuma cutouts in a line. Listen, if I could do that... Now, I'm not telling you how to run your business, but maybe having a silo inside isn't the best idea? I'm just saying, like, it, I feel like, I feel like it's just not, like, a good business practice to just have that sitting in there, taking up space, all the space, in fact. Like, I know that you said that you're going to be the first restaurant chain to have in-home silos, but, like, is that really something to be proud of? I don't think so. What do I know? I don't I don't own a restaurant. At least I got the wet floor sign. Actually, it's a no parking sign now. Placed suspiciously close to the silo. Don't worry. We're just going to put the oil over there and the homework over here. Oh, yeah, of course. We need to get fuel for the, uh, well, we have an outdoor generator, but no, I think I have a gas tank around here somewhere. Yes, yeah, silly me not having, there we go, not having fuel for the fire. That would, that would just be bad. That would just be bad. Anyway, this place isn't going to stay open particularly long, but as long as no one actually inspects the, uh, the back here, I think we'll be fine. Uh, just to be safe, we will put one fire extinguisher. Um, and we are going to put it... I cannot put it behind the silo. We're going to have the cat guard it. Uh, as for things on the walls, we will have some ventilation because that is, that's just nice for the people, you know. And, uh, da, 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 da. Now it is a face. Mm. With eyebrows. Kitchen probably violates the Geneva Conventions, but hey, we have a silo! Yeah, they, they don't talk about 
like the type of things that they have. Let's let's put in some more range hoods just so that they do have at least a little bit of ventilation. Um, the thing that really needs the most ventilation, obviously, is the silo, though. As you can see, it is very well ventilated now. Look at look at this guy. His name is this is Marvin, by the way. Marvin is the overseer. He is not their boss. He doesn't like being called the boss. He prefers being called the overseer. Um, and if you make Marvin angry, then you are going to be in a heap of trouble. Anyway, I think we're done over there. More like Stylo. Okay. I think I am done with this. How are things going? I'm finished! Milo the Silo. Okay, let's decide who's gonna be working here. Uh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. First of all, no, I don't trust you with money, Rodney. Uh, who should be the chef? Uh, I kind of feel like Zucker should be the chef. Zucker, I feel like, would know food. But do we need, do we want Rold to be the apprentice? I think so, right? Look at him. I don't, I don't think we can say no to this earnest face right here. Rodney, however, is completely out of this situation. Um, yeah, I think Pico would be a good cashier and Sasha will be her apprentice or employee okay this is beautiful absolutely beautiful Zucker and Rold are just going to take the world by storm okay let's call the staff we need to give our restaurant a name oh god no we have to name something again uh I'm finished violating Geneva Conventions. This name of this restaurant is... We... Have... A... Silo. That's the name of the restaurant. Pepper Steak. No, they serve pepper steak, but the name of the restaurant is We Have a Silo. You definitely want to name it, we have a silo? Yes, 100%. I've never been more sure of anything in my life. Absolutely, 100% did not forget it was Tuesday. Listen, I, I thought that five days of the last week were Friday, so it's fine. Hello, Jimmy, how are you doing? We just made a very safe restaurant. Look at this place. We have a silo! The dining hall is very fancy. It's Wednesday for me since an hour ago. You live in the future. Is the future as cool as they say it is? Now let's take a look. So that was a beautiful dining room. Let's take a look at... <laughs> look at them. Look at those two. <laughs> they have no idea how to cook in this hellscape. None of them are doing any sort of food preparation. They are... They are baffled. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Knowing you, Patty's the main course. I would never serve something that disgusting in my restaurant. 100%ing a rise. Nice, nice. I brought the restaurant staff. I also thought it would be good to bring a few diners along. The place really turned out fantastic. I can't wait to sell well photographs. Okay. Look at this photograph. How are you doing? <clears throat> okay, so you're working the register. You're waiting on people. Look at Look at Sasha. Sasha is just the most adorable thing in the universe. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Flip would be the one to order the veggie sandwich instead of the 
expensive sushi. I don't know what the bear's name is, but he's probably kidnapped. Let's go take a look in the back here. Alright, so how are y'all doing? Are we uh are we are we cooking things? I like that I put a picture of Rold and he works here. I I set up I set up the stove for you. Do you want me to turn it on? Is that do you need me to turn everything on for you? Okay, I've turned I've turned things on for you. So please please use the facilities now. Hey buddy. Do you, do you understand where you are? He does not look like he understands where he is. My video uploaded. It is 6 p.m. Well, anyway, we have a silo. Anyway, Marvin Marvin does not seem happy that I'm sticking around here. So let's um. Let's 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 take let's take our our leave here. Excuse me, I need to blow my nose. Okay, well, this this was a hundred percent a win for all of us, everyone involved. What's up? Let's take that celebratory photo. Oh, look at this. And now... <laughs> the second celebratory photo of WE HAVE A SILO! Thank you very much. With our own restaurant, this little island feels bigger than ever. Cheers to WE HAVE A SILO! Feel like the sky's the limit for us. Alright, we need to hear from the person in charge. A few words? I'm saying words! Yeah, I'm gonna be one of those people. Hey, can you say a few words? A few words! Last but not least, let's take that celebratory photo. What do you think? Rolled, you blinked. There we go. It's perfect. That'll do. Umiel, hey, guess what? You're awesome. You are not indeed awful. You're awesome. Thank you very much. I, I appreciate you coming to the streams and things. And um, keep it being awesome and keep staying the cool you that you are. Yeah, they're going for some real quality cooking. I really need to check it out sometime. Yeah, that'll be a great place for a get together. Anyway, it's payment time. Oh, 25,000 pokey, dang. Great work all around. Drinks all around. Um, do I want to call it a day? Uh, I think I'm gonna finish and we'll just take a look at the, the other other places we got here right now One day they're gonna restock the things that I want to I want to spend spend pokey on Let's see we've got the school there Where's Where's our restaurant? So this is Cafe LeBlanc over here. Consider more violating more Geneva Conventions than a kid's game. So yeah, uh, hello. So I really like how this came out. Um, it's about as close as I could make it to to how the the thing looked in the in the game. But um, you, know, you got the the counter, you got the tables here, 
Mo is the stand-in for Morgana in this case. Uh, we have coffee and curry. Even got the yellow phone, specifically the yellow phone there. A little kitchen area. And the, um, obviously the most important thing, the Sayori up there. Um, but yeah, I think it's cute. I like it. Hello, bam. Hello. Alright, and I can also slip between here, which is weird. Hey, Poncho. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> how you doing, buddy? Psst. Hey. Hey, how you doing? Hey. Psst. Psst. Hey. 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 Hey, Poncho. Okay, fine. I'll leave you alone. Now let's see if I can find my new restaurant. You can get anything you want at We Have a Silo. You can get anything you want at We Have a Silo. Hop right in, it's around the back, just a half a mile from the railroad tracks. Hello! We got the bestest customer service for you here at We Have a Silo. Chill out, relax, smell the smells, eat the foods, enjoy yourself. Thank you. you. Can take your payment here, bud. Okay, what am I buying? So you all have it. Oh, you switched seats. Okay, you both switched seats. It looks so good. It took me thirty minutes just to order. You, you, you got you got a, a plate for the entire table. My face is planted directly in the column. Cool. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> no one can see me. I'm. This is me at any social gathering right here. A hundred percent. Like if you if you want to know. If you want to know how I am at literally any party, I'm the person flat against the wall behind the pillar, the brick pillar, face pressed against it, trying to look as inconspicuous as possible while Sasha stares at me and walks into nothing. It is a big mood. <laughs> Do you have any games in your phone? Okay. Please do not perceive me. Thank you. So how you all doing back here? Have you learned how to cook yet? Well, rolled is closer to the stoves, so that's good. Hey, hi. Hey. Yeah, I've been lured back here by the yummy smell. You're making thumbprint jam cookies. Yes, I already know how to make them. Great. Sure, how you doing, Rold? I was supposed to prep ingredients, but I forgot which ones don't tell Jeff Zucker, okay? Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's just turn all these things on. Ah! Marvin is not happy. Okay, let's get out of here before something explodes. Have you made more meals or violations? At We Have a Silo, we make meals and violations. Every meal is a violation of the Geneva Convention. Did I say that out loud? Whoops. <laughs> forget it, forget it, except you, Rodney. You're gonna get what's coming to you. But the rest of you, forget it, forget it. It's fine, it's fine. Everything is fine. The smoke that you smell is perfectly normal. Knife on the right, fork on the left. Is that right? Etiquette is weird. You know what? Here's a here's a handy guide. Here's a handy guide to what hand you need to use everything for.
There we go. You hold your chopstick in your right hand. Okay, so I, I think that's that's uh, actually it for for our purposes here. One day I'm gonna get back to remodeling the schoolhouse into a Danganronpa classroom, but that is not the day today. Also, I am very not interested in being within a three mile radius of, of Gigi or Jambet or whichever one that one is today. All, all over yucky. Let's go to Harp's Island. Chapter suddenly comes rushing back. <sighs> Excuse me, I don't know why my nose is so runny, I apologize. What do you mean I can smell the sulfuric acid from here? <laughs> 